so this is situation one. So the landholder's identified he's got pigs because he's seen pig tracks near a dam. He's then gone ahead and placed some good quality wheat down at the edge of the dam and has been successful in getting pigs to feed on this bit of grain. Now he's been doing this for three nights and since placing the camera up, we can identify that we've got two sows and nine half grown suckers coming to this particular spot. These pigs are coming in two or three times in a 24 hour frame and coming in day and night. They're probably not living too far from here uh, my guess would be they're probably living in that creek system, as you can see in the back there, and coming out for water and feed. And... Now, seasons have changed, and there is quite a significant amount of feed down. In this particular area, you know, they've got lucerne, they've got native grasses and stuff. And generally, there is a bit of theory that people think if there's plenty of feed around, then pigs aren't going to come onto grain. But grain is a high energy, high food source for them, and that's generally what they crave especially in colder months. So this is in May, uh, temperatures are still pretty mild and we've had no dramas of getting these pigs onto the grain. As you can see, we've gone ahead and placed a trap down. Now they're talking rain the next couple of days, so we might not be able to get back out to this site for quite some time. So we've put about 60 kilos of grain down and we've made sure we've put grain down to where they've previously been feeding and put more around the trap and inside the trap just to give them the opportunity to start getting used to walking inside the trap and finding out where the door is. Just to give you a bit of a time frame, if you look up the top left hand corner there, it'll show you a date. So that there shows the 29th of April, and this is now day five since I started feeding these pigs. So we're finding that these pigs are all walking inside the trap. They're, we're still feeding on the inside and outside and leaving the door wide open. They're coming in broad daylight, so they're obviously feeling quite comfortable in the area. It is in the open, so my guess is these are two young sows, and the fact that they're walking straight inside the trap within three or four days means that they might may not may not have seen a trap before. So everything's working in our favour at this position, and we're quite comfortable to move on to the next stage. We're up to our next stage of our trapping. So we've got all pigs coming in here comfortably. We've been free feeding for seven nights now. Um, we have had a new boar come up in the last two days. Now we want to get used to these pigs trying to, you know, having, having a bit of metal touch their backs and getting used to pushing their way in. But for now, we want them to get used to, you know, coming through a narrow channel, pushing their way in, get used to a bit of noise. So then hopefully, um, but we'll see how they react to this noise first. We'll watch the camera, um, hopefully they can get used to it. If you do want to be really particular, you can... Uh, I've just done a quick job, I was meant to bring some rag yet, but I didn't. But I've just uh, taped some um, Nagura burr to the post, and that way you get no banging noise when she shuts. I'm going to push that fast, so just be doing that. So at least that, if you're worried you've got very sensitive pigs, and this will give them a bit of time to get used to it, so we'll see how she goes. So it is crucial and important that you do take this step because you're gonna find that not all pigs are gonna walk in with a narrow gap. They may know what a trap is, they may have seen their mates get trapped, they may just have a bit of insecurity about walking in even where others are walking in. And in this particular situation, this particular sow has taken four nights before she's walked in with that gap. And that gap is still quite large. So if you refer back to the first photo, the date was the 5th of May. And if you look now, it's the 9th of May, and this is the first video I've got of a walking in. So once you keep feeding and feeding, you're going to hopefully bring new pigs in. In this instance, we've had this boar come on the 3rd of the 5th. He's come now on the 7th of the 5th, and then on the 10th of the 5th, he's came again. He's finally walked inside the trap. So now we've seen all pigs walking inside the trap. You know, we can comfortably set it. It's finally time to set the trap. Now, you want to try and get as many of the pigs in the trap as possible before that trap does set. So there's different ways people set traps. They can set them with the door, you know, probably shut this far with the stick across the top. And the idea is once that does get done, it does fall. Now, it is gonna happen on this one. So that's why we've got a nice wide opening for it. So hopefully it doesn't. Now, the idea is nice wide big gate so they shouldn't bump it now. I have got a bit of grain scattered across the bottom here. So the idea is the pigs will come in. I'll kick a bit over there for them. The idea is the pigs will come in, come around the top here, 
and then they'll slowly give them time for the other ones to walk in. Now, once they get to this bit here, there's a little trigger wire. So once they bump that, it's gonna push and shut it. Now, the idea of this is to make sure they can fall, and then one that's swung out of the road. So it's giving pigs more time to push their way in if that's what they're gonna do. So this footage is seconds before the trap had finally got set. So if you have a look at the date there, it's the 14th of May. We've been feeding these pigs for 20 days now. And it's important to have cameras on your traps and having, having them on video because you're gonna be able to identify how the pigs are entering that trap in which you can alter how you set your trap up to give you the maximum result. In this particular situation, I made sure I tried to push as much grain away from the door as possible because we we're seeing these two sows take time to get in and the piglets were just too quick and too keen to get to the corner where the main growing pile was. And as you can see, it doesn't take much, a little bump at the back and the trap's set. Mm -hmm.